Welcome back. Today I am going to discuss on some problems for dealing with integration by the method of substitution. Here in this problem we get integration dx whole divided by x minus 3 times of square root of x plus 1. The audience if we consider x plus 1 equals z square then from here we can find the value of x minus 3 that means x minus 3 equals z square minus 4 because if we substitute the x in x minus 3 by 1 minus z square then it becomes z square minus 4 and taking the differential to the both side the feed we get dx equals 2z dz substituting the dx by 2z dz in the given integral we get integration dx whole divided by x minus 3 square root of x plus 1 equals integration 2z dz whole divided by x square minus 4 z then we can write that means we can put 2 outside of the integration sign then it becomes integration dz whole divided by z square minus 4 and 4 can be written as 2 square so it is similar to the standard integral integration dx by x square minus a square here in place of x there is a z and instead of a there is 2 so it can be written as 1 by 2a that means 1 by 2 into 2 ln x minus a that means z minus 2 whole divided by x plus 2 that means z plus 2 and here c is the integral constant so we put here plus c and again substituting the z by root over square root of x plus 1 we get half of ln of absolute value of root over x plus 1 minus 2 whole divided by square root of x plus 1 plus 2 plus c here audience this problem also can be done by the previous way here audience is the question number 34 one here if we would like to find out the integral of the given expressions first of all we have to substitute x by such an expression so that we can find the standard integral here if we substitute x by a tan theta then it becomes dx equals a sec square theta b theta now putting x is equal to a tan, tan theta and dx equals a sec square theta b theta in the given expressions we get integration dx whole divided by a square plus x square whole to the power 3 by 2 equals a sec square theta d theta whole divided by a square plus a square tan square theta whole to the power 3 by 2 and it can be written as integration a sec square theta d theta and if i take a square as a common then the remaining part 1 plus tan square theta can be written as sec square theta d theta and i write 3 by 2 2 in place of 3 by 2 and after calculation we get here that 1 by a square 1 by a square integration d theta by sec theta then sec theta 1 by sec theta can be written as cos theta but we know that the integral of cos theta is sin theta so I replace the integration cos theta d theta by sin theta plus c is the integral constant now 
from the uh, very beginning that means uh, as we consider x is greater than theta so 10 theta can be written as x by a so theta equals 10 inverse x by a so in place of theta if i replace 10 inverse x by a so we can write 1 by a square sine inverse 10 inverse x by a plus c now with the help of of this figure we can convert 10 inverse x by a into sine inverse so from the given function 10 inverse x by a if we consider this is the angle and so the opposite side of it will be the perpendicular that means x will be the perpendicular and a will be the base and from the Pythagoras theorem we can write the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of a square plus x square so 10 inverse x by a can be written as sine inverse that means uh, perpendicular by b is here perpendicular is x and hypotenuse sorry perpendicular by hypotenuse here perpendicular is x and hypotenuse is the square root of a square plus x square so i put here uh, one uh, sine inverse x by square root of x square plus a square here sine and sine inverse will be cancelled so we can write 1 by a square x multiplied by square root of x square plus a square plus c and c is the integral constant here audience is the another problem and it is not the similar uh, to the any of the standard integral so to make it the standard integral we consider x is equal to 3 10 theta so from here we can write theta is equal to 10 inverse x by a and uh, taking the differential of x equals 3 10 theta we get dx is equal to 3 sec square theta d theta and substituting dx and dx in the given expressions we get i equals integration 3 sec square theta d theta divided by 9 10 square theta plus 9 and taking the 9 as a common we get uh, 9 into 10 square theta plus 1 whole square here 9 square means 81 and 1 plus 10 square can be written as sec square theta and uh, uh, square of sec square theta can be written as sec to the power 4 theta so from here we can write 1 by 27 uh, sec square theta divided by sec to the power 4 theta d theta so after calculation it can be written as 1 by sec square theta and 1 by sec square theta can be written as uh, cos square theta and to make it formula we put here 2 and uh, since there was no 2 so again we multiply it by the half and then it becomes 1 by 27 becomes 1 by 54 and 2 cos square theta and 1 by 54 integration 2 cos square theta can be written as 1 by cos 2 theta d theta then we write here 1 by 4 and the integration of 1 is theta and integration of sine 2 theta sorry cos 2 theta whole divided uh, equals sine 2 theta whole divided by 2 plus is the integral constant here and substituting theta by the 10 inverse x by 3 we get uh, 1 by 54 10 inverse x by 3 plus 1 by uh, 108 uh, sine inverse 2 10 inverse x by 3 plus c if you uh, do the advanced calculation here the another answer will be obtained but i uh, left the other part for the um, student i hope that student will do uh, that means then he will convert 10 inverse x by 2 10 inverse x by 3 as a sine inverse uh, sine inverse something and sine sine will sine inverse will be cancelled and uh, remaining part will be uh, used there that means you will put the remaining part here the integrate and here the in problem that means 35 1 we get the integration square root of 1 minus a square x square dx here um, uh, first of all we have to remove the a square which is the coefficient of x square and for that uh, i use the distribution law 
and we find that square root of a square uh, times of 1 by a square minus x square and this a square inside the square root we uh, put it outside the integral sign and we get a integration square root of 1 by a whole square minus x square dx dear audience uh, we know uh, it is a similar as the um, standard integral uh, integration square root of uh, a square minus x square dx and that formula is the uh, x times of square root of a square minus x square whole divided by 2 plus e square by 2 sine inverse x by a so here in place of a it is given that 1 by a and in place of x square it is also x square so it is the similar to the standard integral and applying that we get a divided a into x square root of um, 1 by a square minus x square divided by 2 plus a square that means 1 by a whole square divided by 2 sine inverse x by 1 by plus c and after calculation we get a x by 2 square root of 1 minus a square x square by a plus a by 2 a square sine inverse a x plus c and it is the required integral dear audience this also can be done uh, by the previous um, standard integral that means first of all we have to um, remove the 9 which is the coefficient of x square and for doing that uh, using the distribution law we can write the square root of 9 times of 16 by 9 minus x square dx and here 16 by 9 can be written as 4 by 3 whole square and minus x square and using the um, standard integral integration uh, square root of a square minus x square dx equals x times of square root of a square minus x square whole divided by 2 plus uh, x sorry a by a square by 2 sine inverse x by a and here in place of a there is a 4 by 3 and in place of x there is a x so we can write here the integration uh, square root of 4 by 3 whole square minus x square dx equals uh, 3 x square root of a square minus x square that means 4 by 3 whole square minus x square whole divided by 2 plus uh, a square by 2 here I put here uh, 4 by 3 whole square by 2 sine inverse x by a that means x by 4 by 3 plus c where c is the integral constant and after doing calculation uh, finally we get x square root of 16 minus sine x square by 2 8 by 3 sine inverse 3 x by 4 plus c dear audience in the problem number uh, 36 uh, we find that integration x dx all divided by x square minus a square dear audience if we take a x square minus a square as z and then it becomes x dx equals dz by 2 then substituting these in the given integral in given expression we get integration dz by 2 root over z and ultimately it becomes integration 1 divided by 2 root over z dz that means uh, again we know that the integration of 1 by 2 over z is the um, um, what will be that what will be uh, it will be the um, um, 2 root over z and 2 and half will be cancel each other the remaining root over z is there and substituting z by x square minus a square we get x square minus a square plus c where c is the integral constant dear audience uh, in this problem we have that integration dx whole divided by 5 plus 4 cos x dear audience and cos x can be written as cos 2 into x by 2 why because we know that cos 2x can be written as in terms of 10x so that is why I write cos x as a cos 2 a into x by 2 here we, it can be written as um, 1 minus 10 square x by 2 whole divided by 1 plus 
10 square x by 2. After calculation, we get here that the 5 plus 5 10 square x by 2 plus 4 minus 4 10 square x by 2 divided by 1 plus 10 square x by 2. Here, 1 plus 10 x, 10 x, x square by 2 can be written as 6 square x by 2 and it will be the uh, numer uh, sorry, numerator and the remaining uh, part is the uh, 5 plus 5 10 square x by 2 plus 4 minus 4 10 square x by 2. Here 5 and 4 mm, plus 5 and plus 4 make it 9 and uh, if we subtract 4 10 square x by 2 from the 5 10 square x by 2 it will be the 10 square x by 2 that means plus 10 square x by 2. Now if we consider 10 x by 2 as z it will be the half x square uh, x by 2 dx dz uh, um, after doing the differential to the both side of it. Then substituting those we will get the <coughs> integral of 2 dz divided by 9 plus z square and 9 can be written as 3 square. So uh, according to the formula, standard formula that is the integration uh, dz whole divided by a square plus x uh, um, this a square plus z square can be written as 1 by 10 inverse z by a plus c. Here in place of um, a there is a 3 so we can write um, 1 by 3 then inverse z by 3 plus c. Here again I substitute the z by the 10 uh, x by 2 so putting that we get 2 by 3 then inverse um, 10 of x by 2 by 3 plus c and this is the another problem and you can do the this problem using the previous method that means uh, cos x can be written as 1 minus 10 square x by 2 whole divided by 1 plus 10 square x by 2. <coughs> Dear audience, it is the another problem. Integration dx whole divided by 3 sin x plus 2 cos x plus 5. And we I don't find any standard uh, integral here and that is why to make standard integral I substitute sin x by <coughs> 2 10 x by 2 divided by 1 plus 10 square x by 2 and cos x can be written as 1 minus 10 square x by 2 whole divided by 1 plus 10 square x by 2 and after the calculation we get the 6 square x by 2 dx whole divided by 6 10 x by 2 plus 7 plus 3 10 x square x by 2 and if I put here 10 x by 2 as z then it becomes 6 square x by 2 dx equals 2z and substituting this in this <coughs> expression uh, I get here integration to dz divided by 3z square plus 6z plus 7 here 2 by 3 uh, is common here so the remaining part can be written as z square plus 2z plus 7 by 3 since it is a quadratic expression so <coughs> it can be written as <coughs> that is making this square we can write it z plus 1 whole square plus 2 by root over 3 whole square again it is the standard form of the standard integral that is integration dx divided by x square plus <coughs> a square and um, applying that formula we uh, get um, 2 by 3 1 by e here in place of here we get 2 by 3 <coughs> 2 by root over 3 so putting this we can get 1 by root over 3 the inverse root over 3 10 of x by 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus c and substituting z by 10 of x by 2 plus 10, 10 of x by 2. Dear audience, I hope that you could understand the today's lesson and again I will come along with a new video tutorial. Till then, Allah Hafiz.